In this video, I'll be talking you through exactly what a motherboard is, what it does, and why it's important, along with a run through of the mainstream options available to buy and the differences between them. So first things first, what is a motherboard? If the CPU is the brain of the PC, then the motherboard is like the nervous system connecting all the other components together, such as the graphics card, memory and drives, enabling them to communicate with one another. And just like any component, you need to make sure that you choose a motherboard that's compatible with your CPU. In this guide, we'll be focusing our attention on motherboards for AMD processors. There are three main factors to consider when choosing a new motherboard – the socket, the chipset and the size. You can see each of these three characteristics listed on any motherboard product page on the SCAN website, and this guide will explain what you need to consider for each. The first thing to look out for is the socket, which is where the CPU physically connects to the motherboard. CPUs are available in all sorts of shapes and sizes, each with their own socket, so it's critically important to make sure that the socket of the CPU and motherboard is the same. And whilst AMD does change the socket design from time to time when designing new CPUs, most current AMD CPUs fall into either socket AM4 or socket TRX4. After checking the socket type, you might also need to consider the chipset. This determines a lot of the capabilities of the motherboard, such as the number of adding cards, the number of memory slots and USB ports. Some CPUs are only served by one chipset, whilst others you have a whole choice of chipset, but not all of them will allow you to take advantage of the full features of your chosen CPU. So to strike the right balance between features and budget, be sure to pick the right chipset for your needs. And the last thing you need to consider when choosing a new motherboard is the size. Size is important, of course, because you need to make sure that the motherboard you buy can actually fit in your case. Larger motherboards are beneficial because they support more add-in cards and memory, but you can still build very capable and high-performance systems with smaller motherboards. The computer industry uses code names to refer to the size of the motherboard, but the good news is that those same code names are used for the size of cases too. We have Mini ITX, Micro ATX, Standard ATX and EATX. So let's take a closer look at the socket types and chipsets. The most common socket type for AMD CPUs is Socket AM4, and it's compatible with a huge range of modern desktop CPUs. This includes three different CPU families, entry-level Athlon X4900 series, A6, A8 and A10 9000 series APUs, and Ryzen processors, including the brand new 5000 series. Some but not all AMD CPUs include integrated graphics, so if you intend on using these instead of buying a graphics card, make sure you choose a motherboard that has a graphics output as not all of them have it. Rest assured though that any Socket AM4 motherboard will support any Socket AM4 CPU, regardless of which of the three CPU families it comes from. The entry-level AM4 motherboards are A320, mid-range are B450 and B550, and the high-end or enthusiast range are X570. As mentioned, there are many AMD CPUs that will work on these chipsets, but it's important to think about the right balance of features versus budget. You'll find that being built for enthusiast gamers and PC builders, the higher-end X570 boards support things like CPU and memory overclocking, with better cooling, more power stages and multiple graphics card configurations. They're also loaded with more PCIe lanes, potential I.O. ports and RAID storage options. It's important to note that once you've chosen your socket type and chipset, there'll still be many different models from various brands to choose from, each offering different features. So this is where you really need to decide what's important to you and best suited to your usage. The second main type of CPU socket is Socket TRX4, which supports the TRX40 chipset used by the high-end Ryzen Threadripper CPU series. These are super high-end CPUs with lots of cores, cache and PCIe lanes, and so they're a great choice for a workstation PC. They also offer plenty of expansion options for multi-GPU and NVMe arrays thanks to PCIe 4.0 connectivity. Again, different manufacturers will have a choice of TRX40 boards, so be sure to take a close look at the features of each board and find the right one for you. SCAN, of course, sell a huge range of the latest AMD motherboards from all leading manufacturers, each offering their own unique models and ranges, giving you plenty to consider. We also have a really useful comparison feature on our website, so whether you're looking at the TRX4 or AM4 socket, you can compare side by side and take a closer look at the features. 
It's really difficult to advise which is the best for you without knowing your specific requirements. But if you're a PC enthusiast or serious gamer, likely to be overclocking or having an SLI GPU configuration, you need to be looking at the high-end boards such as X570. And if you're a professional film editor, animator or architect looking to have a workstation capable of coping with heavy rendering, then the high-end TRX40 boards are seriously worth considering. However, if you're a casual content creator with less intense workloads, then you'll likely be good with B550 that supports the relevant features of your CPU. Scan are always on hand to answer your questions about which board is right for you, so feel free to contact the team. Or if you'd prefer us to do the hard work, then why not choose a pre-built system? You can check out our wide range of 3XS PCs by heading to the website scan.co.uk forward slash 3XS. And from there, you can shop by use and then by specs or features. Or if you do know which motherboard you want, then you can use our site to configure your own. I hope this has been useful for you. And don't forget, we also have other buyer's guides and useful videos on our YouTube channel. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification button to keep up to date with all of our content.